everyone, this is Evie Lupine. Welcome back to my channel and today I have another video for you all. Today we are going to be talking about the differences between CGL and DDLG along with it and HPlay. I know it's been a long time since I have discussed something on this channel related to DDLG, HPlay, all that stuff. Don't worry, I haven't forgot about you guys. But I did want to go back to a topic that I have discussed previously. I have a whole long video where I discussed Diaper Kink, Daddy Kink, DDLG, Age Play, all of that stuff all in one giant video. And I know that can be a little bit hard to digest. And so I really want to focus in on this one area because I have found that it is the one question related to DDLG and Age Play and CGL that I get the most often. And referring people back to that one video is not always the best thing thing. So we're going to talk about this one particular aspect in a lot of depth and I think I've also found a way to very succinctly tell the difference between CGLG and HPlay. And as usual, I do want to start off this video by just giving you some quick definitions to work with if you are not familiar with uh, these terms. Uh, when I refer to CGL, that stands for Caregiver and Little. DDLG is a subtype of CGL that stands for Daddy, Dom, and Little Girl. There are many other types of CGL out there such as Mommy, Dom, Little Boy, uh, Caregiver, and Little Boy. There's all sorts of different combinations that you can have. DDLG just happens to be the most common and the most prevalent. And a lot of what I'm gonna be talking about in this video comes from knowing the most about DDLG because it is the one that most people do. But any form of CGL you can take and, and, and put into this video and it should work perfectly the same and it shouldn't change anything. If I do say DDLG, in this video somewhere, I will pretty much also include all other forms of CGL as well. Just substitute as you want. I just wanted to get that out there because I know in the past, um, just in the nature of filming, I have sometimes misspoke and uh, said DDLG where I have met the more general category of CGL at large. So just keep that in mind while you're watching this video. When you are new to BDSM, when you're new to kink and fetishism and forming these types of relationships, I have found that it can be very difficult for people to understand the difference between are they into CGL, are they into age play, are they into both, is there really any difference between the two? And I think that the difference is very subtle and it's not as directly obvious as say the difference between CGL and pet play or the difference between flogging and caning because a lot of the differences are very internal and about why are you motivated to do this kind of play? What do you find appealing about this type of play? You know, how do you want to be incorporated into your life? So on and so forth. And so that's where I think a lot of the differences come from is just that difference in internal motivation. And there's also one big other thing too, and that is CGL is fundamentally rooted in BDSM. It came from other types of BDSM. It was formed out of BDSM relationship styles. It is completely under the umbrella of BDSM. And that is just something that I think is really important because there's a lot of people out there who try to take CGL out of a BDSM context, but you can't really do that because the language and the culture and all of the other things that actually formed what CGL is are just fundamentally tied to BDSM. For me, I would consider CGL uh, to be a dynamic that is focused between a caregiver and a little that occurs in a BDSM context. I, that's a pretty broad definition, but it's the best one that I can come up with that I think incorporates the entire scope of why people do CGL. For most people, CGL will also involve some form of power exchange as a lot of the appeal for CGL for many people is the power exchange. But there are people who do CGL role play as part of scenes, as part of just little one-off pieces of their dynamic, but it's not incorporated with power exchange. So I just wanna validate that you don't need to have power exchange for it to be CGL. However, it is still part of BDSM. Now, this is where we get into the difference between what is CGL and what is age play. Age play is not inherently linked with BDSM. So CGL, BDSM. Age play, not BDSM. Age play is a form of role play. And while many, many people incorporate role play as part of their BDSM, 
not all role play occurs in a BDSM context. It can be a sexual fetish. It can be something that you just find emotionally or mentally stimulating. Age play is not something that inherently involves any BDSM elements, power exchange, bondage, dominance, discipline, any of those things that we would traditionally associate with BDSM do not have to take part in age play. As well, age play is about going back to a specific age for most people or a specific set of ages or a specific age range. So the primary motivator is I want to go back to feeling like a five-year-old or I want to go back to feeling like 10. You can also age play aging up. So if you are somebody who is doing an age play role play scenario, where one person is uh, acting like the naughty niece and they are age playing as being 12 and you are playing the dirty uncle and you are age playing being 45 even if you're only 25 that is also age play too cgl by comparison is not about going back to a specific age it's more about capturing the wonder of childhood capturing the wonder of being able to take care of another person and being taken care of in a way that is reminiscent of a caregiver and a child relationship for the most part. So for somebody who is primarily into CGL as opposed to age play, they can still feel like they're 45 or 25 or however old they are. It's just about recapturing that childlike wonder and how you perceive the world, oftentimes also how you perceive sexuality, how you perceive relationships and bonding. But it's not about going back to a specific age. It can be you are taking something from the behavior patterns of a five-year-old and an eight-year-old and a teenager all at the same time, and that's CGL. Whereas if it was something that was age play focused, Usually people try to be more specific in terms of capturing uh, exactly what it's like to be a five-year-old, not taking elements from, you know, completely divergent age ranges. Uh, you can also age play uh, with like, a, you know, being a preteen, being a toddler, being an infant, kind of a general age range where behaviors and neurodevelopment is similar. Whereas again, with CGL, you can kind of take and choose sort of different behaviors and different ways of understanding the world from completely different age ranges because again it's more about capturing what it's like to be a child in a general sense as opposed to trying to capture a specific age. Uh, and the same thing goes with the caregiver side of this. You're not necessarily age playing as a different age than you are. If you're age playing up and you're trying to be the 45 year old dirty uncle, your behavior pattern may be different from somebody who is a caregiver or a daddy dom who is still definitely 20 years old or however old they happen to be, but they are taking on a caregiver role, not trying to age themselves up into, you know, being the age of somebody who might literally be this like five year old's father or their uncle or their mother or, whatever it happens to be. And correspondingly, there are definitely people who do both at the same time. They combine wanting to play a specific age with the BDSM focused aspects of CGL together. And that is really, really, really common. I think there are many people who do both. So it's not like you have to choose between I'm into CGL and I'm into age play because there are definitely people who do both and people that combine other types of role play and people who combine other types of BDSM on top of these to form their own personal little layered parfait of what their relationship and what their sexuality looks like. And you may find over time that uh, you started out being in CGL, but then you add more age play elements or you start in age play, but then you find a lot of the elements of BDSM appealing. So you add some of the more CGL elements into your role play and all of that happens all the time. So, uh, you know, don't necessarily feel constrained uh, to be one or the other. And I think that pretty much wraps up what I would like to say about age play and CGL. This is definitely not meant to be a complete guide to all the differences because especially in the way that a lot of people go about doing their CGL and their age play in terms of 
uh, especially the role play aspects of both of them, they can look really similar. And remember, you always get to define your own terminology. You get to define what CGL or DDLG or what age play looks like to you. So please just use this video as a guide. It's not a complete list of all of the possible differences because that would be impossible to make. But I do hope you found it helpful. Anyways, you got something out of this video. If you have any remaining comments or questions, please do let me know down in the comment section below. And I would love to hear from you if you are somebody who is an age player or into DDLG or has a CJL dynamic. Do you combine them? Do you keep them separate? Do you feel like there's differences that maybe I didn't cover in this video? Would love to hear from you guys and thank you so much if you do comment down below. If you like this video and you haven't already, please do subscribe. I make videos twice a week on all sorts of topics, BDSM, sexuality, alternative lifestyles. If you want to know about that, this is the place to do it. And finally, if you really enjoy my content and you like watching my videos, please do consider going to my Patreon. That is the best place to support this channel, help me make more videos, more content, and it's a great place as well to get access to exclusive videos, polls, posts, pictures. I have an exclusive Discord chat, so if any of that sounds interesting to you, do check it out. And until I see you guys next time, hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.